Folks, thanks for coming on with us today. My name's John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next hour or so discussing some of the portfolio selling options you have with Aetna's Senior Supplemental Program. Uh, this is a great partner that we cherish within our organization, and we feel it's a strong carrier for any agent that works in the Medicare market with many of their supplemental plans um, being an option for folks that work the under 65 market as well. Today's presentation is being recorded and it along with the material, some of the material we referenced through the course of the presentation will be sent to you, including a PDF of the presentation itself. Uh, if you would, please note in the software package that there is a section in there for both questions and chat. If you would, put your, your feedback in the questions section. And if it is a point that we don't address throughout the course of the presentation itself, we'll make certain we address it at the end. And if we need to do some research, we'll do that and get that information to you as well. Uh, as a bit of a level set, for those of you who aren't familiar with Premier Marketing, we are a national marketing organization founded in 1968 that's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform. We have offices across the country acting as an insurance wholesaler, providing insurance services through independent insurance agents such as yourself. We do so through a contracting arrangement with you, the agent, at the highest possible commission levels, and we have recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. As I mentioned, being founded in 1968, we recently observed a milestone in our history, and that's our 50th anniversary, which is what we feel quite an accomplishment for what began as a small family agency in rural Nebraska that's grown into one of the largest marketing organizations in our space uh, thereafter. We do sell through a full insurance portfolio with Medicare programs that address the health needs of our population that we serve, including Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement programs and the standalone Part D prescription drug programs. We also offer life insurance and annuity programs, including final expense life insurance and free need plans, long and short-term care programs, disability income plans, and then ancillary benefits that serve the needs not covered in many of the basic health programs including additional help for dental vision and hearing, critical illness and cancer plans, and hospital indemnity programs. Each of these will hold particular significance as we roll into the upcoming AEP period where we not only deal with the base medical, but the other needs of our prospects and clients as well. That Medicare Advantage portfolio includes the national carriers that are a necessity for dealing in this market, and many of the strong regional programs that can make a difference to you in your target market. And that same philosophy carries over to the PDP program where the national carriers are available to you now. An important point at this particular time is the fact that many of the carriers are rolling out their benefits for 2021 already. And while we have half a year to still sell the current book of business, the 2020 benefits, it is important to note that the Upcoming benefit packages are available for many of these programs and including a process to certify for those programs because we're all aware that the DMA and PDP programs require annual certifications and we have that information available to you. When you look at the, oh, here we go. When we look at the ancillary products, we have the national leaders in each of the categories, including our partner for today with Aetna, Aetna Senior Supplemental, and we look forward to that discussion. And of course, I neglected a slide with our uh, Medicare Supplement programs that are very extensive as well in their number and in the support that we render to help you sell in that space as well. When we look at the Medicare market, if we can get the slides to agree with us, we look at some very large numbers of folks that are fitting into this demographic. And if you go by just age, you don't get on one of these webinars or a different type of presentation with a carrier or a marketing organization when they don't speak of the silver tsunami or the aging of the baby boomers. Over 10,000 people a month turning 65 or one every 10 seconds or however you want to put it. 
But if you look at this market based just on age, you're missing a part of it because there are a portion of the folks that will turn 65 and not immediately access their benefits when they turn 65 for one reason or another. That's, we've seen some numbers that run from about 10 to 12%. Some interesting information from deaf research uh, recently says some of the current situation has people either retiring earlier or continuing to work as they can, so that number may be changed a little bit. But we also don't want to neglect about a sixth of the Medicare population that are actually accessing their benefits under the age of 65 because of disability. And these folks can be a very viable part of our marketing programs moving forward for not just the base medical, but the ancillary benefits that uh, are a necessity for many of the folks that fall in this category as well. So if you look at the Medicare population overall, we're dealing with a diverse population that has some challenges with their health. About two thirds of the population have three plus chronic uh, conditions, even a higher percentage when you look at some of the older people. And some of the challenges also extend to their income and their savings. So having programs set up that help them budget for the inevitable is very important for us, not only to serve our population, but also to help generate income streams and business for our agencies as well. When you look at Medicare overall, people have a choice as to what they can do. They can choose to do nothing, if you want to put it that way. I had an old sales manager many years ago with Prudential. He used to tell me the decision to make a decision is a decision. And that's true because folks don't have to do anything. They don't even have to pick up part B if they don't want to. I personally believe, and many of us on this line would agree as well, that that's a major mistake. But they can stay in traditional Medicare to what degree they choose. You can add the drug benefit as well, or they can augment that coverage with a standardized, modernized Medicare supplement program or choose to go with a Part C program and integrate their benefits through a private insurer. So when we do that, we see kind of an even split as to how people are making these decisions one way or another. But regardless of their choice, the topic that we choose to speak on today with the, the choices that you have in portfolio selling with Aetna give you an opportunity to service each and every one of these groups. And because we are dealing with Medicare, we are dealing with a language all of its own, and we have some different things that can help you translate those acronyms should you choose to do so. We'll include this in the follow-up to today's presentation as well. The document itself is pretty large, so we'll be using a link in the follow-up to take you to these, uh, to these documents. So finally, what we're looking at is a discussion today dealing with portfolio selling with Aetna Senior Supplemental Programs and the plethora of plans they have for us to offer our prospects and clients. They're very competitive programs and are an essential part of making certain that we serve our prospects and clients uh, thoroughly. So our guest speaker today is Mr. Kevin Moore. He's the Regional Vice President for the South for Aetna Senior Supplemental Programs. And Kevin is a good friend to our organization and to the industry. And I would, uh, at this point in time, welcome Kevin on and see if we can't turn control over to him and let him give us his uh, presentation on the products that are being offered. So Kevin, at this point in time, uh, I've given you the helm and I'll be quiet and uh, let you roll. All right. Awesome. Thank you, John. Uh, and let me know if for some reason it didn't switch over to my screen, but I think you should have me. Uh, thank you yep. for the setup and thanks for the opportunity. Good, good. Uh, and thanks for the opportunity, John, and thanks for everyone who's attending today. Uh, we hope to bring you some very helpful and valuable information. So it's always a good, uh, good chance I get to work with John and good chance to work with Premier. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so real quick, and I've got a lot of information to cover in a short period of time, so I'm going to go pretty quick. And uh, as John mentioned, if you have questions or feedback or anything you want to share or want to get more information on, 
you know, definitely recommend using the chat and the question functions that are built into the webinar application that we're using. And then I think towards the end, usually what we'll do is we'll go back and try to answer as many questions and comments as we can. Um, in the meantime, the division of the company of Aetna that I represent is called Aetna Senior Supplemental Insurance. It's actually a, you know, company that's been around for a long time, just under a different name or different names. Uh, if anyone ever remembers the old company named Continental Life, that's us. That's that's who we are. Just a the division of Aetna since 2011. Uh, you know, our kind of core or our flagship of our business is our Medicare supplement. So the Aetna Medicare supplement product is sort of what we're responsible for administering. Been around for over 35 years in the senior market, so we're not new to this. We didn't just jump in it yesterday. Uh, the home office for us is based in Nashville, Tennessee area. Great agent services team there very focused on business persistency because we know that's important to you and important to us as well uh, we do our absolute best to bring you competitive premiums we know that's a very important part of your business obviously uh, as well as commissions and renewals and then as i mentioned before you know our med sup is our core product but in addition to that our our uh, division of aetna also offers a lot of different products designed for cross-selling in the senior market and beyond the senior market too. You'll see a lot of our products go down to some of the younger ages as well. Uh, so we wanna set you up not just with a major Medicare product or a Medicare supplement, but uh, the opportunity to help and serve your clients beyond just that major medical or that major Medicare coverage. So that's what some of these other products are designed to do. And we're gonna get into that, some of, the, some of those products today. Uh, we do operate under five separate charters or entities which you'll see all listed here, four of those we've had for a while, and then one that's very new, as you'll see listed there at the bottom. Uh, and those aren't different companies, despite the way it sounds or looks, when you look at the different uh, entities that we have there, or charters as we call them, you've got Aetna Health and Life, Aetna Health Insurance, American Continental, Continental Life, and then of course the newest one is Ascendo Insurance Company, uh, which is part of the CVS Health family of companies and Aetna affiliates. So we just use those to file products under. If you look at our materials for any of our products, you'll see not only is it an Aetna branded product, or now in this case also potentially a CVS branded product, but it's gonna have one of these side brands or these entities listed as it. And again, they're not separate companies, they're just different entities or charters that we use to file the products. Uh, so here's a quick list of all the different types of products that we offer. As you can see, obviously a Medicare supplement, which we already mentioned several times. We also have a critical illness plan called Cancer and Heart Attack or Stroke Plus, Hospital Indemnity, Dental, Vision, and Hearing, Home Care Plus, and Recovery Care, which are what we kind of coin as short-term care plans. They're um, really good. There's a great market for them. We're going to talk about them here in a little bit as well uh, in a little bit more detail. And then, of course, we have a final expense product, and we actually have a brand new final expense product, which we're going to give you some info on today as well. Uh, here's our product availability chart. I realize this may be hard to read, so I don't really expect you to, you know, look at this and get a lot of information. But I just want to let you know this is always available and it's always out there on our website, uh, which I should mention our website, by the way, is AetnaSeniorProducts.com. AetnaSeniorProducts.com. Very important that everyone's aware of that. For anything regarding these products that I'm going to talk about today, that's where you'll be able to obtain, you know, more information or download or order supplies, uh, do e-applications. Anything and everything for us is going to be back on our website, AetnaSeniorProducts.com. And this product availability chart is always good to check because it's going to let you know by state which products are available. You know, we do our best to have every product available in every state, but in some cases that may not be the case. So it's a good idea to always reference this. And again, depending on what state you're in or what state you plan to market in, you may wanna just check this on our website just to verify the product you're wanting to market is available. So we're gonna talk a little bit about our Medicare supplement first. I'm gonna assume that most everyone on the phone uh, has a general idea of how our MedSub works. So we won't go through and do like a 101 type training but uh, just kind of tell you why you would want to choose Aetna as your Medicare supplement provider. There's a lot of reasons. Here are just some of the few. Uh, you know, we offer a broad choice of plans. Our coverage is portable, meaning that if you were to buy a policy and you were living in a particular 
state or zip code and then you moved to another state or another area, another zip code, you're never going to be re-rated based on that new address, which can be really big, you know, depending on where you originated your policy versus where you moved to. So that's, that's, a, that's a good advantage. Some others, uh, other carriers out there will actually re-rate you once you establish a new residence and a new location. We don't do that. Uh, our policies are guaranteed renewable, of course, as long as you pay the premiums. Uh, there's no pre-existing condition clause. So what that means is that as long as we accept you as a client, we're not going to exclude coverage for anything that you may have had beforehand. Some other carriers will do that, uh, maybe on a limited basis for a certain period of time, or maybe for the life of the policy. We don't do that. Uh, I mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. We do our absolute best to pay top dollar to our brokers. So you can expect you're going to get paid very competitively versus the other companies that are out there. Uh, and the same with premiums. You know, we know, understand that with a Medicare supplement, you're typically talking, you know, a product that's very common as far as the way it works and what it offers. And really what the difference is between one med sup over another, a lot of times just comes down to the price and the company name. And we, we have a lot of pride in our company name. Obviously, Aetna is a great, you know, track record, great history in the business and in insurance in general. Uh, but on top of that, we know it's important to bring you a product with very competitive pricing. So we do our absolute best to do that as well. Uh, and then we do some different sales incentives too to help, you know, maybe put a little extra money in your pocket sometimes. And I'll talk about that in a little bit as well. Uh, so we actually have a brand new, well, I'll say brand new. It's been around for a few months now, but a new Medicare supplement product. Uh, for those of you who have worked in the Medicare business for any period of time, probably are familiar at least somewhat with our Medicare supplement, our Aetna product. In addition to that, we've added in a second MedSup. And yes, I do mean a second, not a replacement. So in most states now, you have our original core Medicare supplement product branded by Aetna, one of the Aetna entities. But then also in the states you see listed here, you either already have or you soon will have the Ascendo product, which is a branded by CBS product. And that's also administered by Aetna. Uh, so we're adding in this second med sup. A lot of you know uh, agents that we run across will ask, well, why? Why would you add a second med sup? Is it replacing the other one? So let me first say, no, it's not to replace our other med sup. We definitely intend to have two separate products out there, and the main thing is they're two different price structures. Uh, and a lot of times, the Aetna product's going to work very well for your client or clients. And a lot of times the Ascendo product will work very well. It just kind of depends on the situation. Uh, why do we do this? You know, why do we want to have even a different type of pricing structure? Well, I think the easiest way to explain it is that, um, you know, there's really about six or seven major Medicare supplement carriers out there where majority of the business goes, Aetna being one of those. Um, and of those, we'll say seven, six out of the seven kind of have a similar pricing strategy. They kind of play the game in a certain way. And that is very good at that. We're, you know, very competitive in most places and have a very good, you know, balance between our claims and our pricing. And it works out very well. And it makes us, puts us in a very competitive spot. And that's, the, you know, similar to, like I said, most of the other six out of the seven big carriers. Then you have the one seven carrier out there that just has a very different pricing strategy. And a lot of it is focused around how they utilize their household discount. And they usually have a very high household discount. So that's what Ascendo is designed to do. It's designed to have a different type of pricing strategy that kind of is similar to that other seventh carrier that does things, you know, very well with that different pricing strategy. That's what Ascendo has been set up to sort of mimic that or to, to, to compete with that, I will say. So Ascendo has a very high household discount. If you've taken a peek at this slide here, you probably noticed already. If you haven't, I'll tell you now that Ascendo in most states is going to have a 14% household discount, which is very good. I think the biggest one that you typically see out there other than Ascendo is around 12%. So that's what Ascendo is going to be really good at is utilizing that household discount. And then the other thing, not only will it have a high household discount, but we're really, you're going to have a different definition as far as who qualifies for the household discount versus our other product. So with our other, our original core Aetna product, you must have two people 
living together in the same home who both have an Aetna product. With the Ascendo product, you have to have a person with an Ascendo policy living with a roommate or an adult person, another adult person. That adult person or adult roommate can be a spouse, doesn't have to be a spouse, but they don't have to have a policy. So you just need to be living with someone over the age of 18 in most cases. That does vary a little bit by state. You may want to go look depending on what state you want to market in. I know in my home state, it's 18. If you're 18 and you have an 18 year old living in the same residence with you or at the same residence as you, then that would qualify that policy holder as a as someone who would get the discount. So that's really neat. That opens things up quite a bit. Um, here's a quick comparison on the household discount versus the Aetna product and the new Ascendo CVS product. On most our other entities, the Aetna entity, it's only 7%, whereas of course the Ascendo in most cases is gonna be 14%. And with the Aetna product, as I just said, you must have two policyholders living together. With the Ascendo product, you must have between one and three, I didn't say the three part, sorry, but between one and three adult roommates. If you don't have an adult roommate, then you can't get the household discount. If you have more than three adult roommates, you can't get the household discount. Um, the only other difference besides that is gonna be the application fee on the old product or the existing product that's $20. On the new Ascendo product, it's $25. So it's a little bit higher application fee there. Again, that's just a one-time application fee that's collected when they buy the policy. Uh, I'm not gonna go into this. I am gonna share copies of this presentation with John so that he can share with anyone who's on the call today. But this is just a sort of a more in detail definition between the Aetna household discount versus the new Ascendo product household discount. Again, I'm not gonna read this through with you right now. I will share it with John. He can pass it on as needed. So that's really exciting. We're, we're very happy to have the Ascendo product. Uh, I wanted to do, and I don't wanna spend a ton of time on this because I do wanna get to some of the other products, but I just wanna do a quick run through. I pulled some rates. These were in late June. They haven't changed much yet. I can get you updated rates uh, probably for July at any moment, but I just was going with what I had on hand when I was setting this up or putting this together this morning. So these are from late June, and this is gonna be a comparison between all the carriers, and I just did one state, which is my home state, by the way, Texas, of course, uh, but this is gonna be very similar in most of all the states. It's not gonna be just Texas. This is just the one I'm using as an example. So you'll see a similar pricing strategy on all of those. So if you look at the black arrow I've highlighted there, that's gonna be our Aetna product. You see it's in about uh, seventh or eighth place there or so, but it's at $98. And by the way, I should mention, this is based on a plan G for an age 65 female. Uh, which is just sort of a good baseline whenever you're doing a rate comparison. So we're at $98 on the Aetna product. That only puts us, even though there's six or seven or maybe more carriers ahead of us, if you look at the difference in price, it's only $3. The cheapest in the state is 95 and we're at 98 I feel pretty comfortable with that because if you look at some of the names of those other carriers ahead of us, there's some of the smaller name carriers. And again, I don't have an issue with them, I'm not criticizing, but most of the business goes with the big carriers. Overwhelming majority is going to go with the big carriers. So when I look at this, a chart like this, what I'm really looking at is who are some of the big name carriers that I'm competing with versus some of the smaller carriers. So if I'm at $98 and that only puts me $3 out of the cheapest in the state, and I'm really the only big name carrier up there, I feel pretty good. Uh, if you see the red arrow, that's where the Ascendo product falls. Keep in mind, this rate is without applying the household discount. I'm going to sort it next by household discount. So with the household discount, you look at that red arrow for where Ascendo is, you notice that it jumps up to number one. It's the cheapest in the state, and it's in that second column there, the household discount rate, which is, uh, well, I say second column, it's gonna be like the third or fourth over when you're looking at numbers. Uh, and that's gonna be at $88 for that client. Still competitive with the Aetna product too at $91. So you see Ascendo really, really stands out here. That's a great opportunity for anyone who's marketing in the state of Texas. And again, I'm just using Texas as an example. You will see very, very similar, if not the exact same stories in many, many other markets beyond Texas. Um, I also wanted to show you a comparison on Plan N. 
You see uh, the Aetna product is very competitive at $78 for an age 65 female. The Ascendo product's at $82. Again, still very competitive. Uh, and then moving forward, Forgive me if my slides are flipping a little slow. Sometimes my internet will get a little bit behind. So you should be now looking at plan N, age 65 female with the household discount. So you see Ascendo jumped much closer to the top, being closer to the cheapest in the state there at $70. And then Aetna still in there as well at $73. And then plan F, I won't spend a lot of time here. I know a lot of agents have said goodbye to plan F forever, but I'm here to tell you that's not necessarily something you need to do. Plan F is still a great, very, very viable plan, and we think that it will be for many years to come. It's going to be mostly an underwritten block of business, which is a good thing because that means it's going to be more controlled with lesser rate increases. And you see Ascendo and Aetna are both extremely competitive on Plan F. Uh, some of you may be wondering, well, why are we even looking at Plan F? Well, do you know that anyone who became eligible for Medicare prior to the end of 2019 will always have the option to select a Plan F? That's still a lot of people, a lot of people who can get on a Plan F. And like I said, most of it's going to be on an underwritten basis, which is a good thing. And then there's a peek at the numbers if you factor in the household discount. Ascendo is the cheapest in the state at $105. So hopefully that gives you a feel for where we're at on our med sub. Again, I you know tried to show you just a portion of the, the overall picture to give you an idea of how and where we stand and rank. So hopefully that gives you a flavor for that. So I'm going to move away now from our med sub and kind of get into some of the other products and kind of how they can be useful to your senior clients or really any type of client. Um, this is, to me, when it comes to assisting your clients with other products beyond a major Medicare product, whether it be a MedSup or a Medicare Advantage, I think you need to get into the mindset of providing education and solutions to your clients. So a lot of times it's just helping them understand what their risks are, what are they exposed for, and what can you offer to them that will help them cover those risks. Um, so these are just sort of some fun facts that I try to share with everyone. I think it's helpful to kind of be in this mindset as you're out serving your clients. First one that it talks about here is dental. 71% of those 65 or older did not have any type of dental coverage in 2017. Uh, I don't have the most updated numbers, but my belief is that it's still pretty similar to that to this point. Uh, cancer, and this is one that hasn't changed. Uh, it's a really big one and one I think everyone needs to keep in mind is that a lot of the costs associated with the treatment of cancer or just dealing with cancer are deemed as non-medical or indirect, meaning that not really any insurance is going to pay for it unless you have cancer insurance. So 42% is the number on that. 42% of the costs associated with dealing with or fighting or treating cancer is non-medical. And that's money that's coming out of your pocket. We actually have a cancer plan that can help you offset those costs in a major, major way. Uh, whether you're a senior or, you know, entering that portion of your life, one of the things that's important to consider is that there's a very, very high likelihood that you're going to end up spending some time in a facility of some type at some point, whether it be assisted living or a nursing home, and that's very expensive, and you only have limited coverage on that. You know, we all really need a long-term care plan. Unfortunately, long-term care plans are very expensive, and they're also very in, in difficult to qualify for. We have some nice short-term care plans that can help kind of spell long-term care, and they're a lot more affordable and are a lot easier to get issued. Uh, but the care that you're looking at in a place like that is going to be somewhere between $3,700 and $8,100 a month, depending on the level of care and the level of privacy that you're needing. So keep that in mind, you know, that's very, very expensive. Uh, and that's on a monthly basis, by the way, I didn't say that, sorry. Uh, did you know that almost 40% of adult Americans are not able to cover a $400 emergency and pay it off quickly? A lot, a lot of times those are gonna be medical or hospital related emergencies. So we have a plan specifically designed for hospital type stays that's gonna help offset that cost. Uh, in 2018, one out of four adults get necessary medical care due to affordability. Very unfortunate and not a situation I want anyone to have to be in. 
we've got these cheap plans that really help offset those costs. And then of course, final expense, uh, you know, very common type of product that not enough gets promoted. Um, and I recommend if you're in this business, that if you're not looking into, or at least offering final expense to your clients to certainly consider it because a funeral costs between seven and $9,000. And many of us aren't prepared for that expense when that time comes. We have a plan that's specifically dedicated for that. Uh, and some more fun facts. Uh, this is the likelihood of filing a claim on the various policies that we have. If you have a homeowner's policy, you have a 0.04% chance of filing a claim. So not very likely. An auto policy is a 0.06% chance. Again, not very likely. If you happen to have a cancer plan, which many of us do not, you have a 40% chance of filing a claim. So what that's saying is basically that your chances of dealing with cancer are higher than your chances of being in an auto accident. And we're, we're by law required to have auto insurance, not so much the case for cancer insurance. I highly recommend that you look into it. It's a really, really, you know, it's important. You know, if you're not educated on it or you're not educating your clients on it, you know, spend some time with me. If you ever have a chance, I would be happy to kind of show you some things that have happened in my experience and how this can really help benefit a family. Uh, Long-term care, again, you're very likely to need it at some point. We all are. You have a 70% chance of filing a claim if you have a policy. Dental, if you have a policy, you have a 100% chance of filing a claim. And of course, final expense, it looks like death is still unavoidable. If you have a policy, you have a 100% chance of filing that claim. So that leads me into our ancillary products. You know, why should you offer these types of products? Why should you help them? Well, I think I just gave you a bunch of really good reasons. Uh, but some other reasons are it helps your clients, which I think we're all in this business to do. I think that's why we do what we do is because we're dedicated and passionate about helping our clients. And not only that, it also helps you. It puts more money in your pocket. The more that you can enhance your client's coverage and kind of protect them overall with more products beyond just their major Medicare or their major health products, then that's helping putting more money in your pocket. It also ups your persistency, which is what this chart shows. They say that if you can place one product in a home, you have close to a 60% chance of keeping that client. If you can put two products, that goes up to about 70, 75%. And then if you can place three products, it goes up to about 85%. And it doesn't all have to be with the same company. You know, you may have a Medicare Advantage plan from one company, and then you may have a hospital indemnity plan from Aetna. You know, it just depends. That's fine. All that matters is that you're the client, I'm sorry, that you're the broker that helped your client. That's going to up their loyalty to you, and it's going to help make sure that they stick with you. They're less likely to want to break up the coverage you've created for them if you have multiple products. So keep that in mind. Uh, the first product that I want to touch on as far as these go is our Cancer and Heart Attack or Stroke Plus. Again, I personally am a big believer in this. You should be offering this to your clients. I could spend a lot more time on this, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do a really quick review and hopefully get you thinking about it and hopefully wanting to get more information and start talking to your clients about it more. The best thing I can tell you here is that this isn't a conversation most people are gonna start with their clients. And it's a needed conversation, it's important to have. So take that burden on, start talking to your clients about it, ask them the question, you know, have they ever known anyone who's had cancer? Uh, ha have they ever had um, uh, cancer themselves? You know, these are the types of questions you wanna ask. You just wanna start that conversation. A lot of people are very hesitant to even talk about it because, you know, it's, it's, it's such a negative connotation to even bring up cancer. You know, so, some people think that because you're talking to them about a cancer plan that you're trying to give them cancer. Well, I can tell you from experience that I would rather be the agent who gets a call from his client saying that, hey, Kevin, thank you so much for helping me four years ago with that cancer plan. I was just diagnosed. Then getting that call that says, hey, I just got diagnosed with cancer. What can you do for me? Well, I think we all know that there's not a lot you can do for them at that point. So. I would rather get the positive phone call. So start talking to your clients, help them out. You can write this policy on anyone between the ages of 18 and 89. Again, not just for your senior clients. I bought a policy on myself for my entire family um, three years ago when I turned 40. 
and I sleep better at night knowing I have it. The last thing I'd want to do is end up sick in the hospital, not being able to work, not being able to take care of my family and not having the cost, uh, you know, the amount of money needed to cover the cost associated with this. That's what this policy is designed to do. You can do, it's, a, it's designed to be a lump sum benefit. So it's paid out, paid out upon diagnosis. You can do a policy as low as $5,000 or take it as high as 75,000. My policy personally, by the way, is 50,000. Um, it's designed to help offset those out-of-pocket expenses if and when you get sick with not just cancer, but also you can cover a heart attack or stroke with this policy. It's simplified issue, meaning there's not a lot of heavy underwriting. So it's just gonna be yes or no questions on the app. As long as they can answer no to everything, then they should be able to get it. You also need to check their drugs. There is certain drugs we will not take, like if it's a pre-cancer type drug, we may not take that. Uh, we do have an e-app, by the way, not just for this product, but for all of our products. It's really handy. It's been very, very, very useful to many in our business during this time where we're not able to really go out and see people in person as much as we used to. So we have a lot of people that are using our e-app. The e-app's great. You can do a full application over the phone without ever seeing the client in person. Uh, you, can, you can use it in person too, by the way. It's really, really easy to use. Uh, there is a recurrence rider that can be added on to this product, which is really nice. Basically what that means is that for a few extra bucks a month, you can double your benefit so that if you have cancer and you get your payout, over time you build back up that benefit. And then if you're diagnosed with cancer again, you can get a second benefit. And I can tell you, you know, based on previous experience with family members that if you're diagnosed once, your chances of being diagnosed again are very high. You can do an individual plan for one person or you can do an individual on a spouse or domestic partner for a couple. You can do an individual and children for single parents or you can do a full family plan. I happen to have a full family plan. Your children are covered until age 26. Until or, or until they're financially independent, which is never, so trust me, it's age 26. Uh, it's the same benefit for each covered person that's on the policy. It's designed to help offset those out-of-pocket expenses. I believe I already said that. Uh, benefits are paid upon diagnosis, and you don't have to get treatment. You know, if you just say, hey, I want to have my, my benefit, and then you want to go spend it on something other than treatment, if you want to go take a vacation or you want to buy a boat, it's up to you. It's your money. We don't get to tell you how to spend it. It is a tax-free benefit, by the way. Um, there's a 30-day waiting period, so if you were to go out and write a policy today, make sure you advise your client that the coverage doesn't start for 30 days, so you don't need to get diagnosed with anything for 30 days. So keep that in mind. If they've got an upcoming doctor visit, it might be time to reschedule. A uh, very, very important note, if you're writing a couple or you're writing a family, and you run into a scenario where there's an age gap between the couple or the spouses, then you want to always, always, always put the youngest spouse as the primary person on the policy, and the rates will then be based off of that person. So that can be a big difference. If you have to run across a couple with a 10-year age gap or more, uh, that can really make a big difference, a lot of cost savings. I'll never forget a few years ago, I had a young lady who perked up when I said that, and she mentioned that her husband was almost 30 years older than her. So yeah, I mean, that would be a big opportunity to save a lot of money for that scenario. Um, a, a question we commonly get asked is skin care, cancer, excuse me, is that covered? Uh, the answer is yes, as long as it's the serious form of skin cancer, which is called malignant melanoma. So malignant melanoma would be covered, but if it's like basal cell, that would not trigger a benefit. Uh, Real quick, want to touch on some examples. If you were to write, and the way this policy breaks down, by the way, is you can write it as cancer only, or you can write it as heart attack or stroke only, or you can write both together. So if you were looking at a 65-year-old and you wanted to do a $10,000 lump sum, for the cancer only, it would be $29.58 a month. That's very, very affordable. Uh, and remember, the younger you are, the cheaper it is. So buy younger if you can. In fact, the difference between a 64-year-old and a 65-year-old is huge. So I would highly recommend, you know, if you can catch your seniors before they turn 65, then you can save them some money if you get this policy ahead of time. Um, if you add in the heart stroke, that's another 30, 30, 83. If you put the recurrence on for cancer, it's 32, 43. If you put the 
heart or stroke recurrence on it's 3475. So the full products with all things combined, cancer, heart, stroke, and you get one benefit for each, by the way, is sixty forty one, sixty dollars and forty one cents a month. And then if you add the full recurrence on it, it'd be sixty seven dollars and eighteen cents. So only sixty seven dollars eighteen cents a month. If you were to pay that premium for ten years, ten years worth of premium at sixty seven eighteen, that would be eight thousand sixty one dollars you would pay out. During that time, that would entitle you to more than, or well, it's right at $40,000 in benefits. So you're trading $8,000 for $40,000. That's huge. This is a great product. I highly recommend if you're not educating your clients today about it to start immediately. They need this. If you're, you know, we're coming up on AEP very soon. A lot of you are going to be out helping your clients with Medicare Advantage. Great, very important work and very important thing to help your help your senior clients, but I can tell you from experience that if your, your senior clients have Medicare Advantage or you're helping them get Medicare Advantage, that's one of Medicare Advantage's weaker points is dealing with the costs associated with cancer. So I would highly recommend at minimum, at minimum a $10,000 plan for your Medicare Advantage client. They will thank you if and when they get diagnosed. All right, moving on to our hospital indemnity. Again, touching on annual enrollment period, which is coming up. It's just around the corner for us here. If you are helping your clients with Medicare Advantage, I highly, highly recommend that you're also helping them with the hospital indemnity. I look at it like this, you know, comparing it to Medicare supplement. You know, you would really be looked at pretty silly overall today if you only went to original Medicare. If you only had your part A and B and that was it, you know, everyone's adding on either a Medicare supplement or they're getting Medicare Advantage to help offset that additional cost. So that's exactly the way you should be thinking about your Medicare Advantage plan without a hospital indemnity. Your Medicare Advantage does have some out-of-pocket costs associated with it. This is the plan that can help pick it up. Your hospital indemnity will pay a lump sum of up to $2,500 for a hospital stay. Or you can do a daily up to seven hundred dollars for a day. You know, each day you spend in the hospital. You can also add on skilled nursing for up to two hundred dollars a day for if and when, because most of the time you go in the hospital, you're only there for a short period of time, and they're trying to get you out. Now you may not be sick enough to be in the hospital, but that doesn't mean you're well enough to go home. You may be going to assisted living, <clears throat> excuse me, or skilled nursing, and if so, that's going to come at a high cost. So you can pay up to $200 a day on this plan towards that type of coverage. You can also cover a doctor visit at $60 a pop, an outpatient surgical procedure at $1,500 once per year, an ambulance or ER visit $200 twice per year. You can add on an optional cancer diagnosis rider of $2,500, $5,000, or $10,000. That's good for one use per lifetime. And then you can do outpatient rehab visits for $50 a piece. And that's what they call this plan for the flex. It's called flex because it is so flexible. You can really build and create. You're going to create a hospital indemnity portion, which covers their hospital coverage. And then you're going to add on optional benefits as needed by your client's concerns. Here's a quick example I wrote up for a 65-year-old. I've got a couple of them different here. You're looking at around $53.25 a month to cover a significant portion of their out-of-pocket costs with a hospital stay and skilled nursing. And your total commission on that for the first year, by the way, is about $351. That's, I don't know what everybody's commission level is, but that's based on a typical street level type agent. If you were looking at a 68 year old, you could build a really very, very comprehensive plan for only $70 a month, 70, 74. And then a typical commission on that's around $466 for first year. That's, you know, before you factor in renewals, of course. So that's that plan. Highly recommend you look at it. And then also our two short-term care plans, recovery care, which I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on, but I'll just mention it really quickly. It's a nursing facility plan. Uh, again, if you, you know, anyone out there knows that we really should have a long-term care plan, but the reality is long-term care is extremely expensive. And it's also very difficult to qualify for. Also, rate increases are a big factor. 
uh, we have an alternative which will give you up to two years worth of coverage. That's what recovery care can do. You can give them a year of nursing care and you can give them an add on a year of home care built into this plan. Um, really, really good. I, if you're not offering or educating yourself and your clients about this now, I would highly recommend taking a look. Very important to have at least something. Something is better than having nothing, which is what you'll have if you can't get long term care. Here's an example I worked up for a 65 year old. If you sold them a pretty comprehensive plan at around $67 a month, that entitles them to $83,000, almost $84,000 in benefits. Typical first year commission on that's about $444. If you did a 68 year old with about $67,000 worth of benefits, you're looking at about $74 a month. And that's the first year commission, commission excuse me, of about $489. Home care is a great alternative. If you can't qualify for that last plan that I told you about, recovery care, it will give you up to a year of in-home care when it's medically necessary. And that's huge. This product is really good because it not only can give you that ability to have a year's worth of home care, but it also uh, has lesser underwriting than our recovery care products. So if you have someone that's not completely healthy, this would be where you would wanna start out. Home Care Plus has got very loose underwriting. You can write it on someone who's already been diagnosed with Alzheimer's in the past. If they've been diagnosed with um, Parkinson's, those aren't automatically knockouts with this product. So you could still potentially get them this plan. Uh, and just again, a couple examples, 65 year old, you could get at $81 a month. A uh, 68 year old, you could get at $95 a month in titles of them to you know, around $85,000, $93,000 in benefits and you can see the commission numbers up there again are very good as well uh gonna just round out a couple more products and then we'll move on dental vision hearing um you know this is the three things i can tell you about our dental vision hearing plan that really make it stand out one is the brand name is really good obviously you know Aetna is a household name and it's a very trusted brand as it should be um also the price this is based on a 68 year old with a $1,000 benefit plan. You're looking at only $31 and 28 cents. And you can look while I'm talking at some of the competition that's out there. You can see that we're beating most all of them there with price. And then as far as coverage goes, the third thing is not only do you get great benefits, as you can see highlighted on the screen, but in addition to that, you get major discounts on all your dental or vision or hearing services just by going to our in-network doctors. Um, and, and that's just a discount you get with or without the benefits. If you're not, you know, if you've maxed out your benefits or maybe you're in a waiting period for your benefits, you still can use the discounts. For dental, you wanna to go to a Carrington dentist, which is a huge network. You can find a Carrington dentist on just about every corner in any major city. Um, for vision, you would want to go to IMED or VSP doctors. And then for hearing, you would want to go to True Hearing, T-R-U Hearing, True Hearing is the network for hearing doctors. So again, name, price, and the discounts. You get major discounts, you get great price, and you get obviously a trusted brand in that. And then I mentioned earlier, we have a brand new final expense. I could spend a full hour on this easily, but I'll just kind of tease it for you now. Uh, it's a great plan. It's branded under the Ascendo name. Um, you can write it on anyone between the ages of 40 and 89. You can take the face amount as high as 50,000, depending on the ages, of course. If you don't quite qualify for the level plan, we do have a modified plan for ages 40 to 75. So that's someone that maybe isn't completely healthy you can still potentially get them a plan up to $25,000 between the ages of 40 and 75. So I highly encourage you to take a look on our website, etnaseniorproducts.com for more information. You also can add on riders to the level benefit plan. The riders range from accelerated death rider, accelerated death, uh, I'm sorry, accelerated um, death and then accidental, excuse me, death benefit rider. So you can really maximize your benefit in those situations. And then you also have a child or grandchild rider that can be added on as well. Um, so 
that's all the products I had. I know that was a quick buzz through on most of those, but again, just for the sake of time, um, wanted to kind of touch on everything, but you know, not really spend. It'd take four or five hours to really go in detail on everything. So this is just kind of the quick hits version. Want to let you know that we're here to support you. Our website again is etnaseniorproducts.com. You can email our agent support team at aetssi information at etna.com. And of course, our agent services phone number is 866-272-6630. Again, 866-272-6630. Here's, depending on what state you live in, you probably or you should fall into one of the regions that we have. So we have four regional teams. So in the West, you have Tony Clark and his team. And I'll leave the numbers up here for a minute or two and their email addresses. Uh, and if you in the states, by the way, are listed at the top of each region. Uh, if you happen to live in one of our Midwest states, you have George Pelicanos and his team. In the East, you have Jeffrey Nasser and his group. And then in the South is my region. Uh, you're welcome to call or email or text me or really anyone on this list uh, if there's questions or comments or anything you want to give us feedback on beyond this session today. So please feel free to reach out to your regional teams we're here to help and support you and you know we're passionate about doing it so whatever we can do to help you we will uh and then i want to wrap it up with sales incentives we're putting extra money in your pockets gosh darn it i just realized i have the out of date ones in here i'm so sorry i will get the updated information and send it to john so he can distribute so basically it just boils down to you know you write some of our business, whether it be ancillary or med stuff, we're going to put a little extra money in your pocket. And we're incentivizing you more this quarter, starting at the month of July, with riding more online using our e-app. So our e-app is a great opportunity for you there. So I will stop there and kick it back to John. And then if you have questions, I will certainly take them. Thank you, Kevin. There's actually two that popped up. One of them you just mentioned, and that speaks to the e-app. And I think that does give a little opportunity to speak to the cross-selling opportunity and how well that software performs. Could you touch on that just briefly? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'd love to. Um, yeah, I mean, our EF, we've had it out for a little over two years now, and it really is innovative. I, I think, you know, compared to some of the other companies that are out there, you just don't quite see something that's as easy to use as what we have. It's very, very friendly. Um, you do, we call it Aetna Quote and Enroll. And the way it works is once you're logged into the website, you start out by doing a quote on any products that you're interested in. And you can customize the products. You know, a lot of our, our ancillary products have different riders and different ways that you can customize and build them. So you create all that with your client and come up with a plan and a, and a cost. And then when you're ready, you just enroll, and then it takes you through the enrollment process. And then I think kind of the coolest feature about the enrollment uh, using the, the e-app is that when you get to the signature portion, we have something called security passphrase. And basically, it works like this. They can just give you a secure passphrase over the phone, and it can be something like their mother's maiden name or their favorite color. And that will actually count as their signature. So there's no wet signature. You don't have to print anything out and send it to them. There's no sending them an email and having them click a link and then filling it out. There's no um, third-party automated system. It's just them and you on the phone or in person giving a signature by a passphrase. And again, you could use a mother's maiden name, which is the one I usually recommend, or you could use favorite color, although I wouldn't, I don't like favorite color so much because that could change, you know. It may be purple today, but it may be green next week. So that's the app. It's really great. And I should mention this too, John. Uh, we also have a tool that you can download on your phone. Now, this isn't specifically an e-application, but it's a tool that you can use for quoting. It's called Quotes on the Go. And so what you would do is go to the app store on your phone and just do a search for the words Quotes on the Go. Just search up quotes on the go, and then you'll see an app that pops up, and it's got the Aetna logo on it. It'll have that familiar purple color that we love. Um, and you download that, and it's a really handy tool just to do a quote right there, mobile, anywhere on your phone. 
You couldn't do a full app that way, but you can certainly do a quote, and it comes in handy quite frequently for many of us. Awesome. Thank you. Um, another one popped up too, but but the the earlier question is, is the home care in-home 24-hour care? Is that part of that program? Uh, I'm not familiar with the, can you, what is the 24 again? Say it again, if you don't mind. <laughs> what they're looking for is assistance with a person in home on a 24 hour basis. Does oh. it cover, that's how I, I interpret that okay. question. I, 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 I understand. I got you. Okay. So let me tell you how that works. The benefit works like this. You have to be getting or receiving a minimum of three visits per week from a licensed home health care, home health care professional and they have to be doing something that's medically necessary so they have to be doing three visits per week a minimum of one hour each and they have to be doing something medically necessary and then as long as you get that then we're going to pay you your cash benefit which you can do up to twelve hundred dollars so let's say let's just say that the people that are coming in to do your one hour visit three times per week that you're paying them $25 per hour. So that would be $75 a week that you would have to pay out of your 1200 that you could get. And that's gonna leave you with about $1,125 cash. You get to spend that $1,125 however you want. It doesn't have to be with someone medically necessary. So if you wanna pay a friend or maybe another business or whoever it is, a certain wage or a certain amount to come and spend time with your person who's on the policy, to, whether it be 24 hours or whatever, that's your money to spend however you want. So yes, technically you could do it that way, but we're not dictating it that way. We're just saying that you've gotta have a minimum of three visits per week of at least one hour each, receiving medically necessary care from a licensed home health care agency. Once you do, we're gonna pay you that full amount that you paid for in your policy, which again, can be up to $1,200 weekly. Awesome. So you can choose to use those monies for respite care, but it wouldn't necessarily fund a person in the home 24 hours a day for the entire week or month or whatever it is. And that's paid directly to the beneficiary instead of perhaps the person or in, uh, individual rendering that service. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yep, um, and the other correct. one... The other one I think I can probably answer, but um, I defer to you as well. It speaks to the fact that, okay, we're talking about Medicare. We've talked about the Medicare supplements and the ancillary benefits. Aetna's MA and PDP programs are a separate contract. Is that correct? Yes. And thank you for whoever asked that. And thanks for bringing it up, John. I should have mentioned it. So, yes, if you're contracted today to sell Aetna Medicare Advantage, that doesn't necessarily mean you're contracted to sell Aetna, MedSup, and ancillary products. It is a separate contract. So if you don't have it today, call John and his group and get set up immediately because we want you to be able to offer these great products and you got to be contracted to do it. It is a separate contract. Awesome. I think that covers it. Um, Ms. Beardsley, we'll make certain that we have folks contact you for the home care specifically for additional information as well. So thank you, Kevin. We'll wind up today's presentation very briefly because we're almost at the top of the hour with some of the reasons why you'd want to access these programs through us here at Premier with some of the support that we can render you as well. And so when we do that, we do that through a number of different means and supplies that are available to you, uh, supplies of uh, not only marketing supplies, but other uh, support from the back office. And when you look at multiple carriers, sometimes it's easier to contract individually with the carrier if that's an electronic process, particularly, which Aetna is really good at. There are agents, however, that want to look at multiple uh, organizations. Establishing an agent profile and assurance-based system allows you to contract with multiple carriers electronically, so you don't have to go through each and every contract. It autofills it for you once you establish your profile. We also will help you stay protected. Malpractice insurance, in a manner of speaking, there's an admissions coverage that we offer through our affiliation 
with this vendor gives you an opportunity to protect yourself regardless of whom you contract through. So you will see some organizations that may offer to add you to their blanket E&O policy for certain programs you contract with that way. This covers you regardless of who you're contracting through. And as you see, it includes also some variable products, which are sometimes a little difficult to get the E&O coverage for as well. Um, we do help you keep your license in play as well through E&O bundles, pardon me, continuing education bundles to keep your license up and in uh, play, and also a means for you to add DI coverage to your own policies through a program that has modified guarantee issued discounted rates where you are also shared, sharing the commission in that product. Um, we do have a number of different presentations in our library of past presentations that give you an opportunity to go through and learn more specifically about certain products. Um, as Kevin mentioned, he gave you a, a overview of the pro portfolio of programs that Aetna Senior Supplemental offers. We've done webinars in the past on certain specific products as well, and we'll make certain that we get you the links not only to where all this information is stored, but also those specific programs offered by Aetna Senior Supplemental. And we do also offer additional information on different marketing techniques to get you in front of folks to offer these programs as well. We do offer electronic support as well. I'm happy about the question that came up on the quote and enroll because it's a great program that allows you to cross sell Aetna products. This program here through our, our contract with CSG gives you an opportunity to look at multiple programs as well. And it not only allows you to collect and store the scope of appointment that's necessary on Medicare Advantage and PDP programs, but it also gives you a way to cross sell within these programs as well, where you can offer them all at the same time, except for the final expense product, which would require a 48 hour cooling off period if you're going in under a scope. Um, we also give you the opportunity to access the MA portion through another software system. Our Medicare Center program allows you to act as a uh, not only a reservoir of the information that you have with people that you've discussed programs with, whether you sold them or not, it gives you a way to go back to them, which is an important point at this particular time of the year as we go into AEP so you can do your annual reviews on those programs and do it all electronically as well. Uh, Kevin and I were talking before the presentation about how we're into the new normal. If you're not comfortable with electronic means of enrollment and outreach, get comfortable with it because it's gonna be a part of our life to a larger degree moving forward in uh, our shared opinion. Um, some of the things that also come into play is we wanna make certain that you have the information on uh, all the compensation that's available to you. Kevin listed some of the incentives that Aetna Senior Supplemental offers. We storehouse those on our website in a singular place so you have access to them and you are aware of the total compensation package that you're entitled to. Our trip, which many of these other programs helped qualify for this last year, was to be a Bahama cruise from Miami to the Bahamas. We've seen now where Obviously, that didn't happen, and bah uh, the Bahamas are actually closing down to United States incoming tourist trade. So we'll see what happens with some of these in the future, um, but there are trips available to you as well. We do also help you with some different types of marketing support. Programs we discussed today are unlike the Medicare Advantage and PDP programs, where if you have that comfort level with Ma Bell and you like to cold call, we can help you with custom lists available in that area. And we can also help you market within the community through retail marketing uh, programs, uh, through other centers of influence in the community that may or may not be happening in the near future because of the direct um, means of carrying those marketing activities out. But that is a program that's available to you. And we're actually having a, a future webinar very shortly on how to plan your AEP and have programs in place and be ready to do 
the, as they used to say on the old friends TV show, pivot. Some things that can help you in each of those areas if they're dealing with faith-based organizations or providers or whatever, because they're in a similar situation to you to one degree or another. Some of the carriers will generate prospects for you as well. We do have an internet leads program with Facebook or Facebook leads, and we do still offer direct mail support based on production. It can really deeply discount the cost of those programs, and information is available on that as well. All that said and done, yes, we're at the end of the webinar. We are asking for your business. We'd like an opportunity to work with you and for you, and in doing so, it's a question of you realizing that many of these programs can have a direct bearing on the success of you and your, your agency, your organization moving forward. If you've made that decision or look to make it, we're going to ask that our agent success managers speak with you as well and make certain that it comes into play because as John Wayne said in the old movie, the Cowboys were burning daylight. We're out of time. we got to move forward. You can reach any of us here at Premier at 1-800-365-8208 or through our website at premiersmi.com. We will be sending out the follow-up to today's presentation and asking folks to reach out to you to make certain that we covered the different questions that you may have after the webinar ends. And you know, it's how that works sometimes. It's like, oh, I didn't get that asked. Well, we're going to make certain that we cover all your questions and, and get that information to you. Um, all that said and done, we realize we've gone a little longer than some of the other things that we've done in the past, shorter than others as well. Um, we realize your time is your most valuable asset. We appreciate you spending part of that with us, and we look forward to future conversations in the very near future. All said and done, thank you for your time. We look forward to visiting with you soon, and in the meantime, we wish you good selling. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you very soon.